My name is Kate, and I'm 30 years old. I met my husband Justin as a business partner, had dinner with him several times, and we developed a relationship and got married. Three years ago, our son was born, and we had a reasonably happy family. But there was one problem. It's bullying by people in my parents-in-law's house. Every time I visit my parents-in-law's house, they launch a relentless attack on me. Kate, you really have no taste in the sweets you brought me. What are you doing? Hurry up and make me some tea. What's this? It's too hot. You're such a slacker. My mother-in-law complains a lot, and my father-in-law is like, "Kate, give me a massage." Oh, that feels so good. Now I massage your shoulders. No, thank you. Don't be shy. Here. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. My hand slipped. I didn't mean to. His sexual harassment is terrible. And my sister-in-law, who lives at my parents-in-law's house, is the most annoying. How can I say this? Um, she's the most hostile to me. Even though I did everything like serving tea and tea snacks, she complains, "You really slatternly." Or do you think you feel important when you have a college degree and a good job at a good company? I would almost say, just because you're a high school graduate and have an education complex, don't take it out on me. And my husband is completely unaware that I am being treated this badly by my in-laws. I said my mother-in said this to me. My sister-in-law said this to me. I want my father-in-law to stop sexually harassing me, but he just said. It's okay. Everyone likes you, Kate. They don't hate you. He replied incomprehensibly. After our son was born, it got even worse. They came to our house every weekend. Maybe that was because they lived only a ten-minute drive away, but they really came too often. Every time they came, my mother-in-law would say, "Kate." Make something for lunch, or is the tea ready yet? You're really a slacker, aren't you? Is this all you can prepare? She complained and complained. It's their fault for showing up without notice. My father-in-law is just so weird. He opens the door just when I'm breastfeeding in the other room. Then he would look at me and say. I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. And slowly closes the door. He never takes his eyes off me until the very end, which is really creepy. After our son was born, I said I wanted to stay at home as much as possible. So when my husband went to his parents' house, I didn't go with him. So I didn't have a chance to see my sister-in-law. I was glad I didn't have to see her because it was comfortable for me. But I was a little upset that she never tried to come to see my son. The first time I saw her was at a year-end family gathering. Even at that time, she seemed extremely uninterested in my son. After a while, when my son turned three years old, the incident happened. On a weekend day. My husband was in a good mood for some reason. I asked him, "How come you look so happy?" He replied, "You'll see." I had a bad feeling about this, and then my parents-in-law came to our house. This time, unusually, my sister-in-law also came, and just like my husband, my in-laws seemed to be in a good mood. I thought. This is weird. And asked them, "Why do you all look so happy?" Then my father-in-law said, "It's okay. Let's go."
Then he rushed me, saying, Hurry up and come with me. I did as he said, and I got into my parents in law's car. After about 20 minutes of driving, the car stopped in front of a house in a residential area. The car stopped in front of a beautiful new house with two entrances. It's a two family house. Whose house is it? As I was thinking this, my husband opened his arms and said to me, Kate, this is our new home from today. What? I couldn't understand immediately. My mother in law said to me, So this is our new home, Kate? I almost fell off my knees. How did you get it? In whose name was it bought? And is it a two family house? So I have to live with these guys? And my sister in law? This sucks. Do I have to endure sexual harassment and bullying every day? No, 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 no. No. I found myself shouting. K Kate? My husband called out to me with concern. But I couldn't stop the pent up emotions from flowing out of my heart. Why are you making such an important decision on your own? I mean, who bought the house? Your father in law? Or you? My husband flinched at my sudden barrage of questions and answered, Um, me. What? You haven't saved so much money. I used your savings for the down payment, and the rest was a loan in you and my joint names. I slapped my husband on the cheek. Ouch! Do you know what you've done? I saved that money for our son's future tuition. You used it without my permission. You've got to be kidding me. If it's jointly owned, you need my consent. That person myself. Um, my sister pretended to be you. That's illegal. Fraud. And why did you make it a two family house? I thought you'd be happy. Of course not. Mother in law is so mean. Father in law harasses me sexually. And my sister in law hates me. I go crazy living with them. I thought you all got along well. I thought that by living together, you could focus on your work and leave the housework to my mom and dad. I just wanted to make you happy. Why did I marry such a stupid man? I said I could not overlook the crime and call the police. I guess they didn't think I would actually call them. My husband cried. And my sister in law and parents in law looked pale. After a while, the police came and took us to the police station, saying, Tell us what's happened. After explaining everything, the police arrested my husband and sister in law for the forgery of private documents. Both my husband and sister in law cried and screamed and pleaded with me, saying that they had no idea it was illegal. I felt sorry for them to go to jail, and all I wanted was to get my money back, so we settled the case out of court. After that, my husband and sister in law paid me settlement money. Apparently, my husband sold the house to pay for it. The reason why my husband bought a two family house was that his parents in law had told him to do so. It seems like My mother in law and sister in law intended to bully me into doing housework. And my father in law's purpose was completely for sexual harassment. So they lied to my husband that my parents in law had liked me for a long time. I divorced my husband. Of course, the mortgage on the new house got out of my name, so my husband was left alone with a huge debt on top of not getting a new house. And my sister in law didn't have the money to pay the settlement, so she borrowed it from my parents in law. 
My husband ended up going back to my in-laws, and my in-laws ended up with a sibling in debt, instead of an easy life. I feel so good. Meanwhile, I went back to my own parents' house. I'm living as a single mother with my mom helping me take care of my son. When I see my son's face, work fatigue goes away, and I am always happy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like. See you in the next video.